Hi everybody, Dennis at TurfGrassScience.com and today we're going to show you how to do a professional soil test at home or at your commercial property and the tools you're going to need. So we'll start over here on the left. First thing you're going to need is a professional soil probe or you can use a spade um, as long as you can get down six inches you kind of have to dig your yard up to do it. The next thing you need is a 50-50 solution of bleach if um, you're using a probe from someplace else, washing it with water is not good enough. You need to spray it with bleach so you don't contaminate your yard with spores from other yards that have been contaminated. And as you might see on some of the other videos uh, that we've posted, uh, disease spread is as bad as shade for turf grass around in the Metroplex. Tar and sad are running rampant. Uh, I suspect 20 to 30 percent of yards have it and um, it's, it's decimating turf grass, especially St. Augustine and the Metroplex. Next, you need a bucket to put your cores in. Lastly, you need a shovel to chop the cores up and mix them up inside the bucket. And as you can see, my kids' golden retriever ate part of that shovel, but it still works. And my son's sitting over here. He's been asking if he could be in the videos. Come over here, son. You can be in this one. What do you say? Hi, customers. You want to help Daddy do some soil probes? Yay! Let's okay. go. <laughs> let's do this. Can I push it by myself this time? No, you. Daddy will help you. The ground's hard. It's yeah. really dry. Okay, that one hit a root. You can tell a lot about your soil by how far the probe goes. I know this property, so. Daddy, can I have a shovel so I can touch that root? I'll need to touch the root. Put them in the hole. See? You can see we got a really nice core pole there. Oh, that wow. one's 11, 12 inches. And you're going to help with this one? Yep. Okay. So. Push. Okay. I'm not really doing Turn. It. Can I turn? Pull. Now pull. Whee! Good job. We did a big one here. But can really do you that. can kind of see the soil makeup too that I've put sandy loam and organic material down, it, down in here over the years instead of just the clay that you see at the bottom, at least in the first two inches. So the general rule is that you're going to pull about 10 cores per thousand square foot. And you're obviously not going to send all of that dirt to the soil lab at Texas A&M or Oklahoma State or Kansas State, whoever you're using in Southwest. But you need to pull that many cores per thousand square foot. Like for example, 10 it's at least six inches deep. If you're going shallower, then you need to do more so that the dirt can be mixed up properly so that you get a good basis of all the soil. Okay, and this is number 10. I hope we get a humongous 
That was not big as the other one, but we don't care. So now we need to chop up the cores so that they're mixed. They've got to be mixed very well to get a representative sample size because that's what this is all about. If you just pull four cores, you know, a thousand square foot of yards got 40,000, 50,000 pounds of usable soil. So just like in anything data-wise, you have to have the proper sample size to get good results. So that's why it's very important to do the mixing and the chopping that I'm doing here. Get more cores than you need per thousand square foot. And then you're going to take that amount of soil, about half of that, put it in a Ziploc bag, and send it off to the lab that you're using with whatever proper forms that they're needing used. And you can send, if you pull 20 cores, 2,000 square foot in a bag, or 30 cores, 3,000 square foot. But if it's more than 3,000 square foot, I would pay for a separate sample, especially if you have problems in your backyard versus your front yard. You know, do pay for separate tests, typically, is what I would do on that. Well, thank you for your time today, and we hope that this helped you learn how to do a professional soil test. Bye customers. Bye customers. Bye. Eating weeds and disease for your lawn. Turn grass science.